Hey everybody, Dr. Ron here, Dr. Ron Repesey. I'm just sitting out, I've been enjoying today. It's been breezy the Sunday and just uh, really enjoying being you know, outdoors on the on the patio here. And I was watching uh, not only Grow Church's sermon with Pastor Tracy this morning, I really enjoyed uh, the sermon that Pastor Steve Furtick at Elevation Church had given. It really struck home. I'll be sharing that. It really struck home for me and I know it's going to strike home uh, to many of my friends during this time of just confusion, right? And the one thing uh, that I thought was really ironic is, isn't it true what uh, Pastor Steve had said that uh, not only a few months ago we were probably all thinking, uh, you know, today we're talking about wanting to get back to, you know, back to normal, right? That's the big thing. I just want it to be back to normal. We want to get back to our gym and our work and all that. But just a few months ago, we were probably, if, all, if we're all being honest, uh, at least several of us, I know I'm in this mix, um, probably were like, you know, I really, really don't love where I'm at. Like for me, I've been looking to do this telecoaching, looking to get out of a nine to five in office setting and be able to be mobile, to be able to help people in different parts of the world, not just right here locally. And so I thought that was a really, just that little point right there that, you know, we want to get back to normal, but if we take a step back just three months ago, um, again, I'll speak for myself and I think many of you will probably feel the same that you know we had all these complaints you know all these things that we were complaining about you know we didn't like our boss or the gym was too hot or you know anything any number of things that you might be complaining about as I always talk about from you know from your workplace to your personal life uh, and to your day-to-day -day routine just being stuck in the day-to-day -day routine that we seem to all want to wish kind of wish to get back for but then I was listening to a pastor I hadn't listened to. Uh, I don't think I've listened to him ever before. His name is Ron Carpenter. And uh, the one thing I noted down here, he says, he said, you know, many times we focus, you know, on our strengths. You know, we try and lean on what we know we're good at. And uh, I thought his point, you know, in the beginning, or the part of the message I heard with him that really struck me is, uh, you know, that maybe we should be working in this time working on our weaknesses. I know I spent most of today training on lab studies, how to interpret different labs I'm going to be doing with people, some that uh, are with new lab companies I'm not necessarily familiar with, some of the DNA technology, uh, the genome technology. But, you know, again, whoever, you know, wherever you're at, maybe working on some of your weaknesses. And I love how he said, you know, the Bible used imperfect people. And just because we're imperfect doesn't mean God's not going to use us. And that really impacted me and really gave me gave me hope, you know, that you know, when you look at our disciples, I mean, we had murderers, we had prostitution, we had all these horrors that went on. And, uh, you know, Paul, who wrote most of the New Testament, you know, he went on to be, uh, you know, who he was, the great disciple of Jesus, follower of Jesus. And so, um, and so that really struck me that, you know, let's work on maybe take a look at our weaknesses and get, get those weaknesses so they're not weak. Let's build, our, build them into our strength. And know that uh, you know any sin, anything that's happened to us in the past, that uh, Jesus has forgotten our sins. Sweating here, and knowing that uh, you know, knowing that you know we can we can still um, be utilized by our Lord Jesus Christ to do great things. So anyway, I thought both of those points were really great. I didn't want to take too much time, but that just really hit me. If you want to watch Pastor Steve's sermon, this is the week after Easter, Sunday after Easter. Um, you, you'll really enjoy it. I don't have the title of his message in front of me, but the point was just, you know, you know, we, many of us weren't happy where we were. So use this COVID-19, this viral, you know, stay at home time, you know, to be with your friends, to be with your family, to call, as I've talked about, reaching out to people, you know, just take a deep breath and, and use this time. So you can lay around and do nothing and watch Netflix and, and sit around and eat uh, junk and get fat, or you can use this time like I'm trying to lean out. That's why I got my, my shirt on. I'm going to go play some tennis. Uh, use this time, you know, to, to get to better yourself. And although for me it felt a little awkward, I was sitting right out here on this patio and I had my computer, my laptop's probably behind me on the table there, uh, just doing work and studying. Uh, felt like I was back in college again, but I'm doing all those things to better myself. And then the other part of it with Ron Carpenter, Pastor Ron Carpenter, I just really love how, you know, not only just focus on what you're great at, but look at what you're weak at and start to identify those things, not in a negative way, but to build yourself back. And if those negative things, which I didn't really maybe properly state, but if those negative things that are holding you back were things that you are guilting yourself with, or you think that uh, they're things that maybe you feel like you're not going to be good enough for God to use you to do great things, uh, we are all sons and daughters in the Lord Jesus Christ, and he don't make junk. Pastor Tracy from our church, from Grow Church, always mentions that, and I love that. 
Um, you know, we are his sons and daughters. And uh, just like if you have children, you want nothing but great things for your kids. He wants nothing but great things for us. So hope that hits home to some of you. I'm at the five-minute mark. I'm trying to keep these a uh, little bit brief, so maybe you guys actually watch, and I'm uploading all these to YouTube. Hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel, uh, which I'm still trying to really come up with the name, uh, but really focusing still in the realm of rejuvenations. We'll call in there. So, um, you know, hopefully you, know, you guys will continue to follow me. I'm going to keep trying to work to put content out and, some of it I get in each and every day, uh, get things from the people that I watch and I study from, and I pass that on to you, obviously. So anyway, God bless to you all, and uh, you all are wonderful. You all are loved. Uh, we're going to come out of this thing strong. I feel I have felt from day one very confident that we're going to come out of this thing very strong, and uh, you know, America is just the greatest place on earth to be, and I think this is just a, a clearing house for the Lord to get rid of the junk and allow greatness to reign in this country. So anyway, I'll be back. So, you know, work on those, you know, work on anything that you feel that you may need to build up that could uh, bring you into a new career path and you know, work on your relationships, your friendships. And, uh, you know, don't forget, you know, what you felt like three months ago. And maybe that's not, you know, maybe if you've lost your job or things have happened to you, maybe it is the perfect opportune time as I've used the word pivot or shift. Maybe it's the perfect time to just do that. To not be afraid, it's something I, you know, I get scared to, to switch careers and to, to move into maybe doing some real estate and it's not easy to make a shift, but maybe uh, these are the perfect times where you feel the pressure, maybe it's financial pressure, maybe you've just lost that job and you're not sure where you're going to turn, maybe use this time to, to pivot and shift and uh, do some great things with it. And sorry I'm sweating even though there's a nice breeze. Dr. Ron Repesey, loving you all and I'll catch you on the next video.